Okay, the next question I get the most is about, you know, a worry that you have when you're setting up a new campaign. And uh, at the ad set level, especially Facebook shows you ad set may get zero results. What does it mean? Should you be freaked out? A lot of people actually freak out. So yeah, basically, you know, the quick answer to this here is you can safely ignore this message because ad set may get zero result. It could be because, um, you know, like this is a new campaign and they don't have a lot of data about it. In fact, when you're setting up the ads campaign in the ads manager itself, at the ad set level, especially or anywhere in the ads manager, when they are showing you the yellow acclimation mark in triangle, um, yellow triangle, um, with all these errors of potential so-called warning messages and all that, you can safely ignore, especially in the ad set level, right? On the right-hand side, they will show you the, you know, like so-called the estimated reach you might get, estimated results you might get. So these are things that you, you can actually safely ignore as well because these are just the estimation from Facebook. It's their job, it's the algorithm's job to really give you some warning or to kind of like warn you on certain potential downfall the campaign might face if on the certain settings, but if you know what you do, you can actually safely ignore that. So that's why uh, things like learning limited. Okay, people are totally freaked out by learning limited and kind of like, they always want to get out of the learning phase. I mean, in my opinion, it's really not something very important. The idea here is if your learning phase is ongoing, but if you're getting the, you know, like desirable results at the cost that you're comfortable with, the, the campaign is still learning in the positive way. So just keep it going. Sometimes it may take a while, you know, like, because if you're spending, especially when you're spending uh, a smaller budget and then, um, you know, and the cost per result is on the higher side, it definitely might take longer. But let's say, for example, cost per result is uh, $20 and you're spending only $10 a day. Of course, the cost per result is more expensive and it might take almost a month to get 50 conversions to get out of the re uh, learning phase. But having said that, the idea here is as long as the whole thing is working fine you don't really need to worry about those yellow color triangle with the elimination marks so that's what i mean i mean basically when it comes to running ads it's always about understanding the whole structure understanding the tools available especially the ads manager i mean a lot of people say that this is a very complicated um so-called uh, monster to tame you know so if you are having certain uncertainties about the ads manager certain tools you're not so sure about Say, for example, you're not so sure which objective is more suitable for your campaign, what kind of audience targeting techniques that you should pay attention to, and etc. I would like to invite you to join my Facebook Ads Masterclass. Now, this is a two and a half hour recorded training. Um, you know, you can actually just scan this QR code and sign up and you can get access to it right away. And you'll also get the future updates, meaning I would actually do a refresh every three to six months. Uh, and or whenever you have new interface or new features and all that. So every time you log into the same page, you always see the latest version of it. So what do I cover here? First, I talk about the objective selection, which is something that is quite essential. You need to know the differences and what to choose and what not to choose. And the second thing is I will share with you my signature audience targeting techniques, which are essential. This is something that we have been using for years now, and it's really proven working. And I will also share with you based on my clients' um, so-called data, what kind of ad design and copywriting style works better right now and what doesn't, you know? And of course, um, you know, I will also share with you how to use the ads manager with step-by-step -step walkthrough and, you know, how do I set up my Facebook ad strategy structure, um, like the top of funnel campaign, how do we do exclusion, the retargeting, what are the do's and don'ts when it comes to retargeting with step-by-step -step walkthrough as in like, you know, it's kind of like literally step by step. I will walk you through in the ads manager using a mock-up setup. From there, you will understand all the features available in the ads manager. So that's how you're going to really benefit a lot from this one. And of course, we end it with the audience. I mean, so the analytics as in like, how do we analyze the campaign? How do we make sense of the data? And how do we find optimization opportunities? Because running ads is the easiest part. But knowing what to do next is really the key, right? So yeah, so that's that. Uh, if that's what you want, scan this QR code and you can actually sign up for that right away. Now, just in case if you're running ads right now and you are not sure whether you are doing good or not and you are looking for ways to improve your campaign performance, um, I would like to invite you on another program over here, which is um, scan this QR code. It will take you to uh, my Fiverr gig. So all you need to do is to buy me a dinner and we can spend 30 minutes on Zoom. What we do, we dive into your campaign and I would actually analyze for you in front of you and uh, to tell you 
what are the things that you have done right or wrong with the campaign? How can you fix the problem? What are the opportunities that you can leverage on to get better results? So I will give you three to five um, recommendations usually based on your campaign performance to help you take your campaign to the next level. So that's what we do. If that's what you want, scan this QR code and I will look forward to see you on, on Zoom real quick. Okay. So yeah, so that's what we have for this one. And remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.